technology and we're talking about how to leverage ai to help you uh, start your podcast and i want to i think that it's so important that people understand that there are so many ways for them to leverage this tool but right now today we're talking about you know how to do it for for podcasts and so one of the things you can do with ai to help you get your podcast off the ground is to actually leverage ai to do some search for you right so you can go on there, you can find topics that you may be thinking about, do a search on it and see how popular it is. You can do like an AI-powered research to find out what people are talking about, to find out is your is your topic in demand, you know, because it may not be in demand. It may be something that you're passionate about, but it may not be in demand. The other thing, too, is you can use the AI. Let's say, for instance, your, pod, your, your topic was podcasting, right? And then you go in. Now, I got to tell you, podcasting is a hot topic. It's a hot topic when you look at this research. It's hot. But let's say, for instance, it wasn't, it wasn't the topic podcast itself wasn't hot. But you clicked on it and it did some research and you found out that podcast for flowers was hot, right? That's because you did the research leveraging AI. So podcasting may not be as hot. But podcasting for, what's the flower they call it? It's a flower. It's like a plant. It's not even a flower. Let's say podcasting for plants was hot. Now, I can tell you right now, right around spring, people are going to be searching up podcasts for plants because it's time to plant for the spring season. So that's going to be a hot topic. You may say, okay, I want to go in there and I want to create content. My podcast is about plants and flowers, right? Bloom. Let's call. Let's say the podcast is called Blooming right? That's, and that's your podcast. You want to go and see what's popular right now. Let's see it's, it's spring. What flower blooms in spring? That could be your episode. You can do a four, a whole four, a four week series on just what blooms in spring. And I'm giving you game right now. You can take it and use it the way you want to. Now that's what one way to do it, right? Um, you can also, you can also use it to write scripts. Now, if you know, I don't use scripts. That's why I'm live. Like I don't use scripts to do the show. 
I don't use scripts when I interview people. I don't let people send me scripts when I'm on their show. Speaking of being on their show, I was on the Dumping Ground podcast last night. Shout out to the Dumping Ground. Thank you so much for having me as a guest last night. I don't really do scripts. When people send me a script, like I'm going completely off script. Like, because I feel like when you use a script, this is me personally. When I use a script, I feel like I sound more robotic. I don't like scripts. So I don't give scripts. I don't, I don't do interviews by scripts and I don't, I don't do scripts for the show. So, but, but for you who are the person that I need some, I need an outline or whatever it is, create you a script. And so you can go to, you can go to chat GPT and say, Hey, right now, what I will tell you, I use AI for, I'm talking about all this stuff, but I want this to be, to be cut down to a really nice article. I will tell AI, write the article for this. And then I'll read the, con- I'll, I'll talk about like the, whatever the, the topics are in the article. I will do that because I want to have an article for that. And I can, I can always have it transcribed and all that. But transcriptions are messy, right? They got numbers. They got they got chapter numbers in there and all that stuff. They're messy. And I'm sure they got some kind of software now to make it nicer. But I'm not paying extra. I already paid for all. I pay for so much. I have so many subscriptions. It's unbelievable. I literally need to go and look at it and cancel some of those things. So you can use it to, to write scripts if you need a script. I just, I don't use it for scripting. But if you need a script, it's a great tool for that. You can say write the script. Write me a script for a 30-minute episode about blooming in spring, what flowers are best. And it's going to write the script for you. And then you can go off script. Um, of course, you can use it to do some editing, right? They got some great platforms out there for editing, like CapCut. CapCut is on your phone. Like, I don't know. I, I was listening, I was watching this video, um, the Social Proof video last week and Donnie and David they're funny they were on there talking about Country Wayne so if you haven't heard if you haven't seen Country Wayne he he does like these funny skits and I started watching him on TikTok he's huge now like he started out doing these funny skits on TikTok unscripted well they probably had a little bit of scripting to them but they were they were hilarious um and I realized I hadn't seen them and the reason I hadn't seen them is because you know he left TikTok because they wasn't doing them right with the money he went over to YouTube it's crazy this is a business y'all all of this is business. Anyway, um, he does everything on his phone. So they don't use cameras and lighting and all that. Everything is done on the phone. But they have really good AI softwares like CapCut. Like I just started to like play around with CapCut. It's amazing. It will do editing for you. So if you are creating videos or a podcast and you need to do like editing on the fly, you can do it there. The script, the script is hands down one of the best out there. So the script is one I started. Let me tell you all a quick story. I started looking at this. I'm always the first to the game. I started looking at the script about three years ago. One of my friends is an attorney. She wanted a podcast, but she didn't want to talk. She didn't want to do the podcast herself. So the script had just come out and the script said, we could clone your voice. And I was like, holy crap. So I, it cloned my, now the script cloning sound great to me. I'm like, okay, it cloned my voice. And then you can either go in and type in what you want your voice to say or not. So I said to her, listen, we can do this. I can clone your voice and it sounds just like you. So the script is one of those softwares. It has AI built in. You can go in there and erase words and it's going to change the voice because the AI that's built into the system. If you type in some words, the voice will say them. If you delete the words, the voice will delete them. The script is hand down one of the best out there. So if you're thinking about, you know, uh, editing purposes, you want to go in there, you want to edit the audio, you want to take out all the, all the air and the ums and the ahs. If you put it into the script, the script is smart enough to let you delete it and it delete it from the whole conversation and your voice still sounds the same. It's the script, D-E-S-C-R-I-P-T, the script. I love it. So these are some ways for you to actually leverage AI. You can leverage to enhance your voice. Like if you, like I could probably put my voice on, use AI to, to, to clone my voice. Right and make it sound better, make it sound smoother. I could probably do that because they got synthesis over in, in Eleven Labs. I use Eleven Labs. That's one of my platforms, and they have the synthesis where you can go in there, change the pitch, change the tone, and do all that. I don't want to do all that. I, I'm just gonna not use it. I'm just gonna do live. So that's where I am right now with that. So, but you can use it to 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 make your voice sound better. You know, to to make it sound smoother, to make it sound more raspier, all of that kind of stuff. You can do all that kind of stuff. You can also use AI if you are doing your podcast and you don't have a soundproof room, like your room is not soundproof. So sometimes you can hear like the ambient noise. You can use AI to go in and edit out the noise, right? There are buttons you just push and all the background noise is gone. It, amazing. I just don't like editing. That's because it's just, I want to just do my show and I'm done. 
it's live. So, you know, and you're a little bit more forgivable when it's live because stuff happens. It really does. It really does happen. Um, it's crazy. Um, soundtracks. This is one of my favorites. This is the one I'm about to dive head deep into. I just signed up for another program because music, because I want original music because I don't, I want to leverage YouTube, but because a lot of the music that I play is not mine, I don't own it. There could be a problem. So I am going to create my own music. For my show that I can play. I'm not going to play a lot of music like before. But I am going to play one song in the middle. To break the show up a little bit. Right. And that is a great way to do that. Now I'm using right now. I'm using a, a platform that I just recently got. That I was supposed to create all these songs with yesterday. It's called Voice Mod. D-O-I-C-E. -D -O and I'm not getting any money for this. So they're not paying me. But I'm telling you this what I'm using. It's called Voice Mod. D-O-I-C-E mod, M-O-D dot net. That's the one I'm using right now, voice mod. Now, it's now I'm looking at it. It has a learning curve. Let me just put that out there right now. It's very inexpensive, but it has a learning curve. I'm looking at it like, okay, it's a lot of buttons and little things that tick off here. So when I have some time, which is probably going to be on, on um, Saturday, I'm going to actually sit down and look at how to do it and create my whole books of songs. Like, I got one show left. That's tomorrow. I probably won't. I'm probably going to play somebody else's song. But come Monday morning, just know, y'all, your girl will be playing her own music in the show. That's that's one of the things you can do. You can create your soundtrack. You can create your commercial. You can create um, uh, uh, sound bites, your own. So that way you don't have to worry about infringing on somebody's copyright. Now, I pay for the music that I use. I pay through Epidemic Sounds because I like music and I wanted to play it. So I wanted to make sure... I wasn't going to get any, any YouTube strikes and get kicked off the platform because I was using other people's music. So I bought a license every month to use the music. But now, to be totally out of trouble, I'm going to create my own music. I'm going to create my own music, my own songs, leveraging AI that I will play on this show, that I'm going to put on my videos, that I'm going to put on other things that I'm going to create in the content space. I would be creating my own music. So you can you can use that to create your own music. All right, last but not least, and it's more, y'all. It's a whole lot more, um, and I'm going to put the article on the website, but think about how to leverage AI to help you market your podcast. You can do, um, you can use ChatGPT to do, like, market analysis to see where your listeners are, I cre and then you can create your own. That's the other good thing about it. You can create your own GPTs to collect information because you can embed these things on your website. They can collect information from your listeners and then you can take that information and then you can turn it into episodes based on what people have asked you, questions that people have asked you. Trust me when I tell you I've learned the hard way that you need to listen to your listeners. So if you want to take a smart bot and put it on your website so people can ask you questions and then you can either answer their questions live on your podcast or or you can just send them some kind of report. But the thing is, they're now have, they now have a customer service on your website where they can ask this question. And you've trained your smart bot to answer the question. But you've also trained your smart bot to collect their information, their names, and their emails that you can now go back to them and send out your, your newsletter or whatever it is you want to send out. A hello, a welcome, a thank you for stopping by kind of thing. It's amazing. It's going to help you be more engaging with your audience. I feel like I'm in a new place in my life with my podcast. I want you to start at the beginning. Don't wait till you're a thousand episodes in and then figure it out. I'm helping you figure it out like right now. These are some of the things you can do. These smart bots, they are really, really good ways for you to interact with your audience. Like I'm working on my, my next smart bot right now. I created a whole business around a smart bot. Her name is Coach Ev. She's a coach for Gen Xers. I, yes, she's a super bot that I created just for Gen Xers who are thinking about starting a business, but they haven't started it yet. So the first thing they need to do is talk to Coach Ev. You go to go through Coach Ev first, and then you get to the real coaches. That's important because they may be thinking, I'm going to start a business. They don't even know what goes into this thing. Like the errors you make, can do you, can you stomach all of that stuff? That's important. So you can put a super bot or, or not a super bot on your website to answer questions. They can collect emails and, and names and stuff where you can put it into a database. All of this stuff is going to help you grow your, grow your podcast, grow your audience, engage with your audience even when you're not there. It's engaging with your audience. Everybody that comes to your podcast page, it's engaging with them every day, 24-7 even when you're not there. And let me tell you something. Done right, this thing could be great. 
I'm learning the hard way. Don't do like me. Don't get a thousand episodes in. And I, granted, the people that the people did that 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 are my clients right now that just became my clients like yesterday, they were going based on the old show. They just know it said you know it was Good Morning Gwinnett, and I do this show, but I love what I do and I love where I live. The format is just a little bit different. It's a little bit different. So you know you want to think about what your show is going to be about. You want to make sure that it's something that you're going to want to get up and do every month. Much as I love doing the music on my show, much as I love doing the horoscopes and all that stuff, I'm even more excited about doing this because when I used to do Talk Business Tuesday, I'd be excited. So I'm even more excited about this. Why? Because I live in business. I live in media. I live it every day. This is what I do every day. I'm in media. I'm doing magazine publishing. I'm doing, you know, podcast publishing. I publish newsletters. I live in media every day. My company is called Noise Media Network because I live in media every day. So you just got to think about what's going to make you get up in the morning. What's going to, what you're passionate about. You know, if you're passionate about succulents, that's the, that's the plant I was trying to remember it. And I heard people make a million dollars on succulent plants, like teaching people how to take care of a succulent plant, millions of dollars. That could be you. I was talking to my friend Georgia earlier. She has an amazing podcast called in the doll world. And so her podcast is amazing. Like she's got a thousand subscribers on YouTube, which, you know, I'm still trying to get to a thousand. I'm, I'm going to hit it this year though on YouTube. And, um, and so she said she was talking to somebody. She, she reached out to a doll company and she asked them to be a guest on her show. And she said they were fangirling out and they were like, Oh my God, we were so upset because it was like, she hasn't reached out. Here's the crazy part about what they said. And this is for you that's listening and you have a business listen to what I'm about to say. They were waiting for her to reach out to them to be on her show. They weren't proactive about let me reach out to her about being on her show. So she did reach out to them, but they probably could have been on the show much earlier because they are fans of the show. It never occurred to them to reach out to her and say, Hey, here's my press, here's my press release, or here's my press package. I want to be on your show. It never occurred to them. Anyway, they told her, girl, we, we're so excited. And she's always so, 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 so calm about it. You are the Oprah of the doll world is what they said to her. And she talks, she interviewed people that make all kinds of dolls. Anybody in the doll world, that's who she interviews. If you're in the, if you make sock dolls, you could be on her show, but you gotta be doing something amazing in the doll world. So her show is called in the doll world. I'm talking about doll, like baby doll in the doll world. She is known, people are calling her the Oprah of the doll world. That is hilarious. And she's like, you're going to find it. But, but her show has a specific audience. People that love everything dolls. If you live in the doll world, and it is a big audience because I used to be in the doll world. If you live in the doll world, it could be a great thing. It could be a huge podcast. You know, I mean, it could be a great. So whatever world you live in, what I'm saying is whatever world you live in, that's the world you, you should be in. All right. I'm in media marketing and entrepreneurship. So that's why you will get business and technology from me every day, four days a week. Well, four days a week, Monday through Thursday. I hope this helps somebody. Listen, the whole entire article is going to be on the website. So be sure to go to goodmorninggwinnett.com to listen, to read the article and then go back and listen to the episode because the episode is going to be there too. Uh, I post all episodes on the website. So if you missed part of the episode because you had to go back to work, it's right there for you. If you want to read what I say and, and get more in depth about what I say, because normally I don't put all of the steps up there. I put some on the website because it's too much. I'll be here talking forever. So just go to goodmorninggwinnett.com to, to listen to all of the episodes there. Um, listen, I got to go. But before I go, I'm going to keep doing this because I missed it yesterday. I want to give you my words of inspiration for the day. So here it goes. It says, live a life full of humility, gratitude, intellectual curiosity, and never stop learning. Oh, let me say it again because somebody missed it. Live a life full of humility gratitude, intellectual curiosity, and never stop learning. Giza said that and Giza was right. Um, never stop learning. I know some people are definitely afraid of AI, but don't be afraid of it. Find out how it, you can use it to, to make your life better, to make your business better, to make your, your community better. Find out how to leverage it. It's scary sometimes because you get all the hype about, oh my God, it's going to take jobs. And yeah, it's going to, 
going to replace some jobs. It really is. But here's the thing. Be on the other side of the replacement. If it's replacing jobs, who's going to program it? Learn how to get on the other side of the replacement. So now it can't replace you. And keep learning so you will always be ahead of the head of the technology because you're learning. And so when it, as a, as the technology evolves, so do you. Always be learning. ABL, always be learning. So all I got for you today, I really appreciate you being here. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you spent the last 33 minutes with me, and I love and appreciate you for that. Look, if you missed any episodes of the show, if you want to go back and listen to all my old episodes and see how they were formatted, by, by all means, go do that. But this is the format going forward. We'll be, I'll be talking business and technology Monday through Thursday at 10 a.m. So be sure to subscribe to the show so you never forget. Because this is going to be like your, your, your um, university on wheels. I'm going to talk business. I'm going to talk techniques. I'm going to talk strategies. And hopefully I inspire somebody and empower somebody and motivate somebody and educate somebody. All right. I'll be back again tomorrow at 10 a.m. God willing, you guys stay safe out there. Until next time, my friends, until next time, make it a great day. Bye, y'all. You've been listening to The Good Morning Gwinnett Show, hosted by Audrey Bell Kearney, bringing you your morning dose of business and technology Monday through Thursday at 10 a.m. If you enjoyed this episode, subscribe today and share it with a friend so you never miss an episode. For past episodes, visit us on the web at www.goodmorninggwinnett.com. 